Coach Paul Cantabene. Now let's bring in the man who has really turned things around these last couple of games and been dominant at the X. He is Justin Bordner. Uh, first of all, I need to know everything about this, and I also need to know if you can get me one that I can wear for future post-game interviews. Well, I just I was just given this hat, but I mean maybe like, maybe well, we hang on. Well, you don't have to give me this one. Yeah, what's the story on it? Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really too sure, but it, just it looks, looks cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, I like exactly it. Exactly right, um, Justin. Early in the season, I was talking to Coach, and he said, "Look, I like the process. I think that Justin's doing the right things. The results just weren't quite there yet. What has clicked over the last couple of games that the results have really started coming?" I just think us as a unit just keep getting better every single week. It's it's not just me. It's the whole unit, the whole stable. I mean, we grind, and every single day we're out there 30 minutes early, and we're just we're just grinding. We're getting better, and it's all you can ask for. I think we're we're only getting we're only going up from here. So, you, you entered in as a young player in a big spot, right? This is in a very important role for this team. Did did you feel yourself like needing to work your way through maybe some early season struggles that you had to kind of grow up a little bit quickly? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's a lot different than high school. In high school, I'd just be able to just get that clamp and just get it out quick. And now you have to really, really keep your pressure on because they're they're coming. But I think we're only growing, so I think we're doing good. I think I have asked every face-off specialist that I've ever talked to here over the years. Right now, one face-off, life on the line, you versus your coach. Who's coming away with that ball? I think Coach Canabine would. <laughs> I, don't, that's, I think that's, that's the right that's answer. That's my guess. But. <laughs> <laughs> he can curse. What is it that, that, you know, how much of that was part of why you wanted to be here? And, and what are you learning knowing that you're working every day with, you know, the, the greatest to ever do it? I think – Coming to play for Coach Canabine is the best thing I've ever did. I mean, I learned so much. I've grown. I've, my clamp is amazing. I just feel like every time I'm going out and working with the stable, I think I just keep getting better. I'm just learning things, and Coach Canabine's done a fantastic job working with us, and it's been awesome. I love it. Very cool. All right, Justin, we're trying to get to know everybody a little bit better this season. Tell me, you're in charge of post-game <laughs> meals the rest of the year. What is on the menu? Tropical smoothie, uh, Paradise Point, and a smoky grilled cheese every game. Really? Yeah. It's, you, it's always your go-to? Always your go-to. I All love right. it. Well, if you've been doing it the last couple of games, we can't change it. It can never change moving forward. And who do we need to give shout-outs to? Who do we need to say hello to that's watching? Um... All the fellas back home. What's up, guys? <laughs> How about maybe somebody that's responsible for helping you to get to this point in your life? Um, Greg Renlin's been a big help. A pretty good one. Yeah. That's a pretty good one to work with, man. Yeah. No doubt. Justin, uh, congratulations. It's been awesome to see you really take charge these last couple of games. Looking forward to seeing this for the next few years, man. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you coming up and joining us. Congratulations on a win. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's Justin Bordner. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv. Thank <laughs> you.